Miss Monkey 1000 and today I got a recipe. I'm trying to find some recipes that I could snack at night um, without killing my calories. So what I found, I'm going to do some chickpeas and we are going to make them roasted. So stay tuned and we'll be back. Okay guys, so what you're going to need is some a can of chickpeas. Now these are only a 15.5 ounces. The recipe uh, calls for 19, but I didn't know if I'd like them, and this is what I got. So you can buy them in the in the bag if you want, and soak them overnight, and do that if you want to. But this is a quick and easy way of doing this, and you will need some time, and you will need now. Look, I they wanted you to have chili powder. But I don't have any, so I'm going to use this um, crushed red pepper instead. You can make it your own. You can put anything you want on it, um, but that's what they had, and it'd probably be very good, but I don't have any, unfortunately. And you'll need a little bit of salt and some olive oil. So what we're going to do is turn you around. I'm going to turn on the oven, and I'm going to get it going. And I believe the oven has to be at 350. I believe. Let me see here. Yes. No, 375. So I'm going to preheat the oven and then we'll come back. Okay, guys. So I got the oven going still. It's still heating up. So what I'm going to do, you're going to need a baking sheet. Yeah, it looks old and ragged, but I'll tell you what, it's got some seasoning on this. So it's pretty good. So. What you're going to do is take this and you're going to drain it and rinse these off. So that's what I'm going to do next. Over here. And hopefully you can see me over here. Let me see. Bring you up a little bit. Sorry. There you go. And I already got the colander in there. So the drainer. Whatever you want to call it. To uh, drain them. Them off real good. Now they're very good for you. They have lots of protein in them. So if you're trying to lose weight or you have diabetes, you know, it's good for that. You know, um, and you need a snack. You can make a bunch of them. You can make a bunch of head and you could just snack on them. So you're going to make sure it's nice and drained. Now a lot of the recipes, what they want you to do, they want you to pat dry them with paper towels and make sure they're absolutely dry. Now this recipe is more of a quick recipe. You can see that I'm wet. I did dishes. <laughs> Sorry. And um, so you don't have to to drain them so um, you don't have to pat dry them so this way is kind of better they say because it keeps them more crunchier so we're going to try this I've never made it but you can put any kind of flavor you want in there so you can mix max whatever you like and uh, try it and see if you like it so um, yeah so <coughs> a lot of people like to eat like hummus and that's where they come from is chickpeas so I love hummus um, so I eat that a lot um, but I was trying to I eat potato chips a little bit too much and I'm trying to get away from them so um, yeah so I thought maybe I'd try this and this would give me something else and I eat also popcorn I can have that and I have usually I have sausage and cheese, which is kind of expensive, but it doesn't have the sugar in it that I'm trying to stay away from. So I really want to get away from potato chips for a while. I'm kind of getting tired of them, and they're really not good for you. So I'm trying to find recipes that I can snack on during the day or at night, because my nighttime is the worst. So, anyways, we will get back 
I'm going to spread these onto the cookie sheet and then when the uh, oven is ready I'll come back. Oh, there you go. There you go. So let's turn you back. I'm going to turn you back so you can watch since you're here. And I'll bring you down. And we're just going to spread them. You don't want them on top of each other. You want them to lay flat. So lay them flat. Now I only made a little bit. You know, I don't think anybody else in the house is going to eat them. I'm going to just get my mom and see how she likes them. But we'll see. So that's all you do. And then you're going to stick them in the oven for 30 minutes. Now, in between the 30 minutes, you want to kind of roll them and shake them a little bit um, a couple of times. So we're going to turn the timer on to 30 minutes. Ooh, hot. And let me see here. Okay. For 30. There we go. And we'll come back as soon as um, the 30 minutes up. In between, I will shake them too. And that helps dry them um, because you want them to dry. But uh, this is supposed to be a faster way of doing them. So let's, let's see how well this works. We'll be back. Okay, guys, so our timer is going off. And it's time to take them out. Ooh, hot. Air hot. Okay. I want to show you things so you can see what they're going to look like. And they come out of the oven. I'm bring it a little closer. There you go. So, there. Yeah, so there you go. Now what we're going to do, we're going to take them and we're going to put them in a bowl. So we're going to just scoop them up in a bowl. And I have my bowl right here. And you're going to leave the oven on because you're going to put them back in. So let's stick them all in here. So we're going to stick these all back in the bowl. Oop, I lost a couple. Ooh, they're hot. Count it. Oh no. Get out the counter here. So we're just going off. Right. I could probably slide this in. But I'm afraid of it going everywhere. My luck. So. Put them in there. Okay, so I'm going to move this so you can see for a moment. Let's put this on right here. Okay. One over here. Not bad. Not bad. A little bit plain though. Okay, so now we are going to add our ingredients in. So I'm trying to find the thing I had up. Oh, hold on just a moment. I'll be right back. Okay guys, so now what we're going to do, we're going to put one tablespoon of olive oil in there. Let me get one tablespoon. And olive oil's over here, so I'm going to grab it. You can see this? Okay. So we've got one tablespoon of olive oil. Okay. And that's it. And you're going to mix it up. Just like 
ça. Okay. And then you're going to take three-fourths a teaspoon of chili powder. Now, I don't have any chili powder, so I, I got some um, red pepper I'm going to try. So, you're not going to use a whole lot. <clears throat> trying to find my thing. These things get all over the place in here and I can't find them. So, let's see. Everything I got is not what I want. something. This will work, I guess. So we're just going to put three-fourths in there, which isn't very much. You don't want to put a bunch in here. No. So. I'm only going to do a little bit on here because this is uh, not the right spoon. So that, that should be plenty. And it goes to your taste, too. So, if you like spicy, you can go spicy. If you don't like spicy, you don't have to. You know? You can put something else in there. Make it your own. That's what I say. Half a teaspoon of dried thyme leaves. So, I got some thyme over here. And we're going to put half a teaspoon. Half a teaspoon, is that? Yeah, half a teaspoon in there. So, I got my teaspoon here. Okay, so, oh god, can't get this off, there we go, okay, so we're going to take some out of here, and okay, I'm going to take some time and put it in there. And then we're going to take some salt. And the salt is a half a teaspoon of salt. So I got reach over. Sorry, guys. So I'll put half a teaspoon of salt in there. And there you go. So I got it there. And then we're going to mix it all up. I'm just going to use this spoon here just to mix it all up. Yeah, that's good. You could just put salt on if you wanted to and just do it that way. You know, um, you, know you can just play with the seasonings and see if you what you like and what you don't like. So, then you're going to take them and you're going to put them all back on here onto the plate. Okay. And I just want to even them out. Okay. There we go. And then we are going to put them back in the oven. I think. Um it says about 10-15 minutes. It depends on your oven because my oven's pretty hot. So I'm not going to go beyond 10 minutes. I'm just going to try 10 minutes. And I'm going to put them in there. Okay. And I'll just put them in here. And I'm going to put the timer on for 10 minutes and then we'll come back. Okay guys, so it's time to take them out. They are beeping. So I'm going to take them back out. They smell really good. And I'm going to bring them out. Ooh, hot. Don't need
heat them in there anymore. And see, they're already nicely dry. Now you can eat these as the way they are. You can eat them hot, or you can let them cool, cool down, and then they're cold. You can make a bunch of head if you want. You can put them in the fridge for a week. Maybe near the end of the week, though, they will start going softer, so they won't be as crunchy. So, just a fair warning. And then this way, you don't have to soak them overnight. That's why I bought the can, because to me, if I'm going to have a snack, I want to have a snack. And I want to be able to make it and eat it and be done. So I might make them at like a little bit ahead of time, you know, maybe for a few days ahead. So I could have them all, you know, during the week. And, uh, yeah, so I could have them during the week. That's sh the shell of the... And one of them, yeah, some little side shell. Didn't have the the chickpea in it though. Yeah. All right, so there we go. I'm gonna move this to the side. So I'll get rid of this. Let that cool down. I can turn the oven off now. There we go. I'm going to turn you around and we'll come right back. Okay guys, so there you go. That's your roasted chickpeas. Now we're going to try them and see how well they taste. And there's a little bit pretty hot still. So that gives you a good amount. That was one can that I had. Yeah, they're hot. Mmm. <laughs> oh, they are. They're crunchy too. Mmm. Pretty good. I think I put some more salt on them though, because I like salt. Let me see. Mm. Oh, that one has smoke. No. I think that's the right amount of salt. Yeah. Mm. And there you go. It's quick and easy. Not quick, quick, but it's quick. And, um, you know, you can always make some ahead and put them in container in the fridge so and they will keep you can leave them in there and have them cold <coughs> excuse me mm. so that concludes my roasted chickpeas and i hope you enjoyed the video and get creative and do your own and make your own seasoning on there and stuff um Excuse me, now I'm going to cough to death. I want to show you a uh, seasoning that we get a Dollar Tree. <coughs> Excuse me. I get this at Dollar Tree for $1.25. And it's really good, so I'm out of it. But the next time I think I'm going to try it on these because I think this would be really good on there. So, um, yeah. I'm going to try that. I keep the ball so it reminds me when I go to Dollar Tree to pick them up. So, yeah. Not bad. And they're crunchy. Not bad. Hmm. So, if anybody's ever made these and has another recipe, um, a seasoning that they like to put on it, maybe they could send it to me in the comments below and I'll try it too and let you know how I like it. Well, that's it for now, y'all. And Monkey says she's out. Y'all have a great rest of the weekend. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.